Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Tonight, we're diving into a topic that's got everyone talking, the exodus of Chinese scientists from the U.S. It's like that moment you realize your favorite barista moved back home to open a yak butter tea shop. You're happy for them, but man, you're going to miss that latte art. We're seeing a growing number of Chinese scientists packing their bags and heading back east. This ain't just about missing mum's dumplings. It's way bigger than that. We're talking about a potential brain drain that has some folks in the West sweating. So what's the deal? Why are these brilliant minds bouncing? Are they trading in apple pie for mooncakes? And what does this mean for the future of science and technology? Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get interesting. Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Imagine a giant chessboard, right? Each move is calculated, each piece has a purpose. On one side, you've got the US, a seasoned player used to calling the shots, leading the game with years of experience and innovation. On the other side, China, a rising power making bold moves, eager to challenge the status quo and redefine the rules. Each scientist leaving the US is like a strategic pawn being moved across the board, shifting the balance of power. China's been investing heavily in research and development, creating enticing opportunities for its scientists abroad, offering state-of-the-art facilities and cutting-edge technology. It's like setting up a five-star restaurant next door to a greasy spoon, where the allure of luxury and quality is hard to resist. People are going to be tempted to switch sides for a taste of that sweet, sweet funding, the promise of resources and support for their groundbreaking work. But here's the thing. This ain't just about money. It's about the bigger picture. It's also about respect, recognition, and the chance to make a real difference, to be part of something greater than themselves. When scientists feel undervalued or unwelcome, they're going to look for opportunities elsewhere, where their talents and contributions are truly appreciated. It's like that old saying goes, you can't clap with one hand. Collaboration is key. You need both sides to make some noise, to create a symphony of innovation and progress. Think of it like this. Imagine a buffet. On one side, you've got the all-American spread burgers, fries, mac and cheese. It's familiar. It's comforting, but maybe a little predictable. You know exactly what you're getting, and while that's nice, it doesn't always excite the senses. On the other side, you've got a dazzling array of Chinese dishes, peking ducks, spicy Sichuan noodles, dumplings bursting with flavor. It's exciting. It's different. It's an adventure for your taste buds. Every bite is a new experience, a journey into the unknown. That's kind of what's happening in the scientific world right now. The landscape is changing and new opportunities are emerging. China is offering up a feast of opportunity, cutting-edge research facilities, generous funding, and a chance to be part of something big, something groundbreaking. It's a place where innovation is not just encouraged, but celebrated. It's like being invited to join the scientific equivalent of the Avengers. Imagine being part of a team that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Who wouldn't want to be a part of that? The excitement, the camaraderie the chance to make a real difference. For many Chinese scientists who came to the U.S. seeking opportunity, the allure of returning home is getting stronger. They see the potential and the promise that China now holds. They see a chance to be closer to family, to contribute to their homeland's rise, and to be part of a scientific revolution that's happening right before their eyes. It's a compelling proposition, one that's hard to resist. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the political climate. It's no secret that relations between the U.S. and China have been a little frosty lately. It's like that awkward family reunion where everyone's tried to avoid eye contact with crazy Uncle Sam. This tension has created a bit of a chill for some Chinese scientists working in the U.S. They might be facing suspicion, discrimination, or even accusations of espionage. It's enough to make anyone want to pack their bags and head for friendlier shores. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
There are still plenty of people on both sides who recognize the importance of collaboration and who are working hard to build bridges instead of walls. After all, science knows no borders, and the biggest challenges facing humanity, climate change, pandemics, artificial intelligence, require global cooperation. The price of progress. Innovation at what cost? Here's a question to ponder. Is this brain drain necessarily a bad thing? It's easy to see it as a loss for the United States, but what about the bigger picture? Could this actually be a catalyst for even greater scientific progress worldwide? Think about it. Competition can be a powerful motivator. As China steps up its scientific game, it's pushing other countries to up their game too. It's like that old saying, a rising tide lifts all boats. We could be on the cusp of a new era of scientific discovery, fueled by global collaboration and a healthy dose of competition. Each scientist leaving the US is like a strategic pawn being moved across the board, shifting the balance of power. China's been investing heavily in research and development, creating enticing opportunities for its scientists abroad, offering state-of-the-art facilities and cutting-edge technology. It's like setting up a five-star restaurant next door to a greasy spoon, where the allure of luxury and quality is hard to resist. People are going to be tempted to switch sides for a taste of that sweet, sweet funding, the promise of resources and support for their groundbreaking work. But here's the thing. This ain't just about money. It's about the bigger picture. It's also about respect, recognition, and the chance to make a real difference, to be part of something greater than themselves. When scientists feel undervalued or unwelcome, they're going to look for opportunities elsewhere, where their talents and contributions are truly appreciated. It's like that old saying goes, you can't clap with one hand. Collaboration is key. You need both sides to make some noise, to create a symphony of innovation and progress. Think of it like this. Imagine a buffet. On one side, you've got the all American But there's a flip side to this coin. What happens when the pursuit of progress comes at the expense of ethical considerations? It's a question that's more relevant than ever in the age of gene editing, artificial intelligence, and other groundbreaking technologies. As we push the boundaries of what's possible, we must also ask ourselves, are we prepared to handle the moral and ethical dilemmas that come with it? The future of innovation holds immense promise, but it also demands a careful balance between progress and responsibility. Only by addressing these challenges head-on can we ensure that our advancements benefit all of humanity without compromising our ethical standards. Beyond the Headlines Understanding the human element It's easy to get caught up in the geopolitical chess match, but let's not forget the human element at the heart of this story. These are real people with families, dreams, and aspirations. They're not just pawns in a global power struggle. Imagine being a young Chinese scientist working in the United States. You're far from home trying to navigate a new culture and facing pressure from all sides. Do you stay in the United States and pursue your research in a familiar environment, or do you answer the call of home and contribute to your homeland's rise? It's a tough decision and there's no right or wrong answer. It's about weighing priorities, following your passions, and finding the place where you can make the biggest impact. A global conversation fostering collaboration in a divided world. So what can we do? How do we foster collaboration and understanding in a world that seems increasingly divided? It starts with dialogue, with listening to each other's perspectives, and with recognizing our shared humanity. We need to move beyond the US versus them mentality and embrace the idea that we're all in this together. The challenges facing humanity are too big for any one country to solve alone. We need all hands on deck, all minds working together to find solutions that benefit everyone. Let's break down the barriers that divide us and build bridges of collaboration. Let's create a world where scientists from all over the globe can work together freely, sharing their knowledge and expertise for the betterment of humankind. Join the discussion, your voice, your perspective. That's our show for tonight, folks. But the conversation doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the exodus of Chinese scientists from the United States? Is it a brain drain or a brain gain? How can we foster greater collaboration in a divided world? Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Carrier Pigeon, whatever works for you, and be sure to tune in next time when we'll be tackling another thought-provoking topic. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay awesome.
Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries. Oh,